there's also the um, the Australian part. Uh, on the 28th of August 2020, Liz Truss found herself in hot water over def over defending Tony Abbott, um, who I... What was the position Tony Abbott was being given? I forget the position. Uh, like um, the trade representative or something. Yeah. Something to do with international trade. I yeah, okay. It was just, he was just being asked to help Britain uh, drum up trade agreements around the world. Yeah. So pretty much, uh, Tony Abbott's been asked um, by like people like this trust to uh, drum up trade with the UK since we're approaching doom uh, with the Brexit. <laughs> um, and uh, here's the thing. Liz Trust is like all, all over them uh, as the uh, equ Women's and Equalities Minister. Uh, but I think Levi has some very strong words about Tony <laughs> Abbott uh, in regards uh, to Yeah, I remember a few years ago, everyone hated Tony Abbott, but I didn't know why, and now I know why. Uh, so if you've, if you've seen any headlines, uh, you'll see that they're claiming Tony Abbott is um, misogynistic and homophobic. And it's very easy to dismiss that um, when you don't know the details of just people being oversensitive or misinterpreting things. or you know. So let me just tell you some of the things Tony Abbott has done. Uh, he said, um, you know, in like a... He was explaining something, and he said, what the housewives of Australia need to understand as they do the ironing. He described abortion as the easy way out. He asked if it was a bad thing if men had more power than women. Uh, you know, while speaking to Women's Weekly, while speaking to Women's Weekly, he described telling his daughters that their virginity is the greatest gift you can give someone. After hearing... A chronically ill 67-year-old explained how she had to work on an adult sex line to make ends meet. Abbott winked at the camera. Uh, he said that LGBT plus people. He said of LGBT plus people, I probably feel a bit threatened, as many people do. It's a fact of life. And he doubled down on that by saying, "There's no doubt that homosexuality challenges, if you like, orthodox, orthodox notions of the right order of things." He encouraged Australians to vote no on the plebiscite on the basis of protecting freedom of speech, protecting freedom of religion, and stopping political correctness. And he implied that same-sex marriage needs to fix the divorce rate in order to be worthy of legal recognition. It's actually really weird. He's like, we can't have it because they have it in New Zealand and their divorce rate didn't improve. Mm -hmm. I don't even understand. Yeah. So uh, it's like... He's a... Yeah. He is a piece of shit. <laughs> um, he is... Like, it's very clear that he holds women in contempt and that he's afraid of LGBT plus people. And you cannot have that person representing your country. Mm -hmm. You cannot represent a country if you hate half of them and are afraid of a massive chunk of them as well. And it's the fact that, because... again, Liz Truss is Women's and Equalities Minister. That is her literal job. Um, and she was still defending this person, like people were pointing out, like, how can you support this person for their views? Don't you realize that they can't represent the people they're bigoted towards? And she just kept parroting, well, their former prime minister, their former prime minister. Um, oh, it's... God. Someone needs to tell this trust that every Australian prime minister is a total cockwomble. <laughs> no one likes them. They're all rubbish. The, you know, mm. being the prime minister of Australia is not an accomplishment. Yeah. Uh, it's just, yeah. Anyway, so uh, of that is ministers. Liz Truss. That is Liz Truss in a uh, nutshell. Um, so just one thing is, uh, speaking of former prime ministers, if you need, if you need the opinion of a former prime minister, uh, Julia Gillard slammed Tony Abbott for his misogyny in a speech uh, that I'm posting the link for in chat. It's great. You should watch it after the stream. Uh, but yeah. Well, we can't criticize Hitler. <laughs> he led Germany. 